Hi, welcome to this episode of My Toolbox TV. Today we're going to talk about transformers. They're everywhere. You use them all over your house, all over a factory. And uh, we could talk about transformers for months. There's a lot to talk about why we use them, where we use them, how we use them, how we test them, all those kind of things. But today I want to get across the basics of, of transformers, how they operate, a uh, little theory of magnetism, things like that. So let's take a closer look at transformers. It's hard to talk about transformers without first talking about magnetism. Uh, magnetism is so important in, in all electrical work, but in, in transformers, it's, it's what makes them function. If uh, a simple magnetic rule in electricity is if you've got a conductor that is conducting current through it, like this wire here, if there's a wire with current going through it, there's also a magnetic field around that conductor. And if it's AC current, it's turning on and off, so it's an expanding and collapsing magnetic field all the time. Okay? Now, if you put this wire in the form of a coil like we have here, the, all of these little magnetic fields join together and form a big one, like this. And they do much more work when you make them into a coil. That's an electromagnet. Now, if you put an iron core in that coil, which is what this represents, and put another coil next to it, like this, that are actually sharing the same iron core, the magnetic field created by this iron core will be passed to this one. Because if there is a magnetic field present and you pass a conductor through that magnetic field or vice versa, current can be induced into the second conductor. So when this coil has the magnetic field, and this comes from a source somewhere, a generator or, or, or something like that, um, when, when you have this, um, this magnetic field will induce a current into this second coil. So as this magnetic field builds up and collapses, then this coil will accept that magnetic field, and that will induce a current into this other conductor, which is... Uh, affected by the collapsing and, and building of this first coil. Now, that's a transformer. This right here is a transformer. That's the symbol that is used in, in electrical drawings for a transformer. This would be known as the primary. This is the primary side. That's the side connected to the source. This is known as the secondary. That's the side that you're uh, you can use a transformer to do things like change the voltage. Okay, If it's an isolation transformer, it means you're not changing the voltage. That would mean that the number of turns of wire on this side is the same on the secondary. So if you had 120 volts on the primary, you'd have 120 volts on the secondary. If it's a step-down transformer, what you would do is put, let's say you had uh, 80 turns of wire on the primary and only 40 turns on the secondary. That would be a step-down transformer. And what that would do for you is if you put 120 volts in, that magnetic field passing over 40 turns of wire from 80 would end up giving you only 60 volts. That would be a two-to-one ratio, a step-down transformer. And you can do the same thing backwards. You can make a step-up transformer, which we do oftentimes. And that way, the primary would have fewer turns. Like you'd have 40 turns on this side and 80 turns on that side. So if you put 120 on the primary, you'd get 240 on the secondary. So you can step up and you can step down the voltage in a transformer. The interesting thing about that is when you do that, the power doesn't change. Meaning, if you have a load out here, let's say a 100 watt light bulb, okay, out here, a 100 watt light bulb, except for losses due to heat and other things in this, which are beyond the scope of this video, except for just some small losses, if you put 100 watts here, or provide 100 watts of, of power, the power doesn't change. You'll deliver 100 watts over here. And what that means is if you step up the voltage in this last example, if you double the voltage, you've cut the current in half. 
So as you step up voltage, current drops by the same amount. Same thing if you step down voltage, current goes up by the same amount. And that is something that, that's the reason we use transformers, because you can change the voltage, and the power doesn't change except for some small losses. You know, this is the reason that we have power lines with extremely high voltages, because if you've been out in the country and seen miles and miles of long high voltage power lines, the situation there is the power plants create uh, generally AC current in the neighborhood of 24,000 volts. Right outside the generator, uh, outside the generating station, they step it up in the yard, could be up to 345,000, 500,000 volts is a common one. They step that voltage way up because the current is going to be small. If the current's small, you can use smaller wires. You can have less heat loss on the transmission line. If it wasn't for transformers, they'd have, to trans they'd have to generate it at 120 volts and deliver it to your house at 120 volts. And that wouldn't be very efficient for them or you. So we, create, we use transformers to create extremely high voltages on power lines, and that drives the current down so that we can transmit AC current across the United States. Otherwise, we'd use DC, but transformers uh, make that not necessary. So when the power gets near your home, for instance, a small substation your local utility has, that 500,000 volts would get stepped down to something more reasonable, 50, 70,000 volts, something like that. And then as it got nearer your house, they'd step it down to maybe, say, 13,800 volts, and then that might be what is feeding the transformer on the utility pole outside your home. And that utility transformer is going to step down that 13.8, down to about 240 volts on the primary side, and uh, that's what gets fed into your house. Okay, So transformers are used everywhere for that unique potential that they can not change power, but if you change the voltage, you can also affect the current. Thanks for watching another episode of My Toolbox TV. This one on transformers, hopefully it gave you a little more knowledge and a foundation to build on in your knowledge of transformers, how to use those and why we use them. Until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you then. <music>